I am Samiha Derdia. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to this channel, please make sure to subscribe and turn on the post notifications. So you are the first one to get notified whenever I post a new video. So today we'll be creating another Karna game. If you haven't yet watched the Karna shooter game, please go watch it. The link should be on the screen right now or in the description box below. So today let's whack some Karna. They've been disturbing us a lot lately. So let's go. Okay, so for our Rack Ikurana game, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to delete this original sprite that we have here, our cat. And now I'm going to paint a sprite. So we want kind of a box for our Rack Ikurana game. So I'm going to get a brownish color. That looks good. So we'll just draw a rectangular structure. And that will be our box. Now I'm going to upload a coronavirus sprite. Here I have it. All right, I'm going to convert to vector mode. I'm going to select it and we'll copy it. We'll go to our box costume and we'll paste it here. I'm going to make it go backwards using this button. And make our corona a bit smaller so it could fit behind the box. Okay, just all right, so that looks good. I'm gonna make it go down so that just about that much of it is shown. And I'm gonna right click and duplicate this costume. So this will be so this will be our show costume. So I'm just gonna drag the corona a little bit up so that it's visible. All right. That seemed good, so I'm going to delete this costume and rename this ones to hide and show. And now let's go to the coding. Okay, so our first game for this whack Ikarana would be that we want our coronavirus to show after a random number of seconds and hide after a random number of seconds. So we'll do that by um, first of all grabbing a one green flag clicked header block as usual. All right, and then what we're going to do is we're going to get a forever loop and wait. Here, I'm going to go to the operators and pick random. I'm going to say pick random one to two. All right, and from the looks, we are going to get switch costume. So we want to switch costume to show and I'm going to right click duplicate these two blocks. Instead of show, we want to switch it to hide. All right, and we'll put this inside the forever loop. Now our first step is done. Now for the next step, we want to check when the sprite is clicked. And in that, we'll check if the costume number is equal to 2, which is our show costume here, 2. Uh, so if it's equal to 2, then we'll change score by 1. And if it's else, we'll change it by negative 1. So we'll penalize them for, uh, penalize the player for clicking um, the sprite when the costume is hide so when the coronavirus is not showing so for that what i'm going to do is go to the events grab this when this sprite clicked and then an if then else condition so from the operators i'm going to get this equals to operator and from the looks we'll get this costume number so right now it's hide which is one all right so if costume number is equals to two then we want to change our score, which I'm going to create a variable now. So I'm going to make a variable. I name it score. All right. So we're going to set score to zero at the start when green flag is clicked. And then I'm going to change score by one here. Else we're going to change score by negative one. All right. So now let's test it. All right, now when I click, see it decreases my score. All right, so that seems pretty good. Okay, so now let's make this game more interesting. At present, we have a blue coronavirus, which if it's clicked when it's showing, it will change our score by one. Now let's have a red one, which will increase our score by two. So I'm going to go to the costumes and 
I am going to duplicate this show costume and upload this red coronavirus I have here. So I'm going to convert to vector, select and copy it. And in this one, I'm going to paste it here. All right, so let's make it smaller. All right, so that looks good. Get this one, delete it. And make it go backwards. All right, so I'm going to delete this one. So we have hide, show, and show two. Now for the code, what I'm going to do is I'm going to for, I'm going to get an if then else condition from the control section. Here now, first we are going to wait one to two seconds, and later I'm going to go to the operators and get this equals to operator and a pick random. So we're going to make it pick random one to, I mean actually zero to two. Let's say. All right, and if the pick random is equals to one, then what we're going to do is we're going to switch costume to show to, which is our red one. Else we're going to switch it to show. All right. And then after that, we're going to wait for like another random one to two seconds. And we're going to switch costume to hide. All right, now for this one, what we're going to do is we're going to check if costume number is equal to two or three. So I'm going to remove this, duplicate it and make this three. Get an or diamond shaped operator. So if it's equals to two or three, snap this inside the if then else condition. All right. So if it's equal to two or three, then now let's let's see now when the costume number is two, we are increasing our score by one. And then when the costume number is three, which is our red coronavirus showing, we are increasing the score by two, which is basically costume number minus one. So here we want to change score by minus. So we're going to change costume number minus one and the same else we are going to change it by negative one now what i'm going to do is when it's clicked we want it to hide back so we're going to switch costume to hide and now let's add some sounds to make this more interesting so i'm going to go to the sounds tab now let's choose a sound and i'm going to choose uh this drum bass two just gonna make it a little softer okay and now for when the coronavirus is missed I'm going to use this boing sound effect all right so to the code we're going to go here we're going to start sound boink when it's missed and here we're going to start sound drum bass 2 all right now for this you could add some background music if you wish but i'm just going to duplicate this twice so here we have three sprites um they are a bit big so we're going to decrease the size let's say 60 percent for all of them All right, and all right, so all of them have the same code and now let's try to play it. You could add background music, you could add backdrops if you wish. Um, so let's see, uh, calm backdrop. Okay, I think blue sky 2 will do. All right, and now let's play it. Alright, so when I click the red one, notice that it's 
increasing my score by two. All right. And when I click uh, the blue one, it's increasing my score by one. When I click when it's not showing, it's decreasing the score as well as playing the sound. Okay, so guys, that's it for today. Please hit the like button. If you have any suggestions, leave them in the comment section down below. Don't forget to check out my other videos. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on my Insta at Tamiya Adaria. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.